Our ancient sages were real scholars of the science whose basic aim was to make inventions through which the mind can man can can attain total happiness or the magnifying joy termed as ananda in the scriptures meanwhile they developed particular systems for the path of spirituality which lay the option of comfortable selection according to one's nature in this regards total 108 systems were being designed like mantra tantra yoga dhyana darshana yagna and parad and surya siddhanta etc these were the particular branches leading to the same goal with different ways as one is independent with differentiation of thoughts and way of conduct to live the life they can select particular path in which they do attend a spiritual goal with best of the comfort but when the time passed more research had been carried out by our maharshis they made a core balance between these systems and started innovating best possible systems which can give quick and best results meanwhile they started combining various methods with with which other and it gave a birth to a very new and effective systems for example surya vigyana surya vigyana was complete science of atoms when it was applied a blend with tantra it became more easier and a new way was found in which lens used for surya vigyana was not required and the atoms of matter could be changed with medium of eyes only it became surya vigyana tantra the same goes for parat tantra then parat vigyana was combined with various tantric processes it became easier to handle parat and take benefit of it in all indian spiritual system the most famous systems to everyone had remained mantra and yoga though both are very different from each other mantra is science of sounds only our ear can hear sounds up to some decibels but sound is everywhere rather we can hear it or not and sound do prepare a particular energy vibration this way particular sound prepares a particular energy and combining various sounds it gives a set of specific energy this is the actual concept of mantra vigyana on the other side yoga deals with spiritual attainment with the help of body in yoga system body is counted as a medium only with particular exercise they generate energy in the body with which leads a soul to the spiritual way well in yoga even we have various types when this both when these both science were combined for to invent a new system it became mantra yoga well in this system energy of the sound generated through specific chanting was combined with various yoga techniques this made various accomplishments easy to achieve again they went deep and started researching more this way they found that with some methods a vibration could be generated to activate particular chakra of the kundali in regards of kal gyana it is found that anhata chakra situated to side of heart is the main holder of kal that is time and they innovated special method for kal gyana such exercise and processes had always remained secret because to go through with such processes there was a condition for the disciple to master in both the sciences like in this case mantra and yoga or else if guru is very pleased with the disciple he will provide such processes such processes are very easy in it such exercises and processes had always remained secret because to go through with such processes there was a condition for the disciple to master in both the sciences like in this case mantra and yoga or else if guru is very pleased with disciple he will provide such processes such processes are very easy in nature to perform and can be added into day to day life or else there are 
very less boundaries it makes it very easy for householders i have seen many yogis to give such process at very last time of their last time of their life to the chief disciples or to a particular people which had been in very touch of them one of such process i am sharing with you all one should practice purak kumbhak and rechak of yoga for some days simply to breathe in hold and breathe out but one should do it as long as they can and with no force at all in some days it will become very natural to do this after that one should follow the particular practice when doing purak chant the beej mantra rehim h r e e m okay at the time of kumbhak chant ram h r a a m at the time of rechak chant room h r o o m i will repeat when doing purak chant beej mantra rehim at the time of kumbhak chant beej mantra ram at the time of rechak chant the beej mantra room in practice first you can chant in mind then practicing it for some days you can chant it with mouth the eyes should be closed and concentration should be at anahata chakra that is between the two chests slowly you will start watching various scenes which previously you have not seen practicing it make you catch any moment of any dance and you will be able to see anything you desire when anahata chakra becomes activated that's it for today stay tuned like subscribe and comment for more videos bye bye